Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for uh, January 1st through the 15th. I almost forgot that we're going to get one of these as an overall energy. One of these. Um, so yeah, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month. Oh, not the month. The first two weeks in January, but the timing is fluid. And keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with you. A lot of people don't get it. They still don't get it. A lot of people do, but a lot of people don't. So let's just see what we got. What do we have for the January 1st through the 15th for Libra? What do we have for Libra, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? One card for an overall energy, please. Hostilities. Hostilities. Now, it did come out reversed. So this may be the end of a hostile situation. You could be dealing with some very hostile people. Okay. Um, there could be some anger. Somebody could be very angry. They could have been. They could be somebody that it wants control. Um, somebody that is fighting. You may be involved in some sort of fight, but coming out in reverse, this would be the end of hostilities. Um, coming out of a hostile situation. So you may be coming out of a hostile situation in the next, you know, the first couple of weeks. Libra. What do we have for Libra? Hierophant. Now, this is a higher power that is involved. You could be dealing with a Taurus. This is a godly energy. Okay, this is being protected. You may have some sort of divine connection. You may be, be protected by a higher power. This is um, believing in yourself, going your own way, having a strong intuition at this time. Your gut is probably speaking to you. You may be seeking knowledge, uh, deepening your religious practice. You may be um, changing your religion up a little bit or just deepening that practice. There could also be some possible legal issues here when you see the Hierophant. Um, this is also about are you listening? Are you listening to your gut? Are you listening to your inner guide? I, this is the highest authority that is guiding you, so you are being guided in some way. Um, this is also a card of marriage and commitment. So some of you may be getting into a long-term commitment. Um, this is also a card of faith and believing, believing in a higher power. So maybe this, the next two weeks, there's a higher power stepping in to protect you. That's what I feel like this is. You're being protected. Ooh, nine of cups. A three of swords. Hangman reversed. I'm just going to get some cards. We'll take these since they flipped. Well, the five of swords, we know this is belittlement. This is power struggles. This is somebody that has been hurting you or hurting another person. This is somebody that is very controlling, very selfish, has a really big ego, doesn't care who they hurt. Um, very arrogant individual here is hurting another person and really doesn't care. So I don't know how you are involved in here, but in this situation, you may be the one that's down here, you know, begging for salvation or begging for freedom or just wanting out of this situation. This person doesn't care at all who they hurt. Very, very selfish. Hmm, the Hermit reversed. We have somebody here that is, it's like, they've already done their analysis. It's like they see, they already know, they already know that this is, this is too much. This is a very enlightened individual who has taken time to see a situation they've they've taken all the time they need we have some sort of painful separation here with the three of swords 
This is arrogant as well. We do have a very arrogant individual here. Somehow you are dealing with somebody who um, has been keeping you stuck. But this is freedom. So I feel like you are being broken free from something. A very hostile situation. Okay, this is definitely hostile. Okay, so we definitely have a hostile situation here. Um, I don't know if I can get that. To, there we go. So yeah, I mean, this. but this is breaking free from it. Okay, so you're breaking free from this situation that has kept you stuck. Uh, you, it's like there's been some sort of sacrifice, but it's over. It's over because you're being protected in some way. There's a higher power involved that is coming in to bring you some sort of happiness because the Nine of Cups is happiness. You deserve to have it all. You deserve to be comfortable. You deserve to, you know, live happily ever after. But this is painful. There's a painful separation. Somebody may have been going through some sort of midlife crisis with the Hermit Reverse. And maybe they didn't see. They didn't see, but now they're becoming consciously aware because we have some conscious awareness here. This is very unhealthy. <laughs> Yeah, beginning to realize that there's a better opportunity, the Five of Cups. The five, then we have it right next to it. We have three fives. Five, five, five. So when you get five, 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 expect a major life change. And this is actually a positive change when you see five, five, five. Yes, there's adversity that comes with it because change isn't easy. Okay? Something is about to change in your life. Something that you have been stuck in. You've been stuck in this situation for some reason. Somebody may have been keeping you stuck. You may have been choosing to stay there for some reason. But it's over. It is over. Because this Five of Cups is beginning to realize that there's a better opportunity. The Five of Cups reversed. Now this is also a recovery period. Recovering from a painful separation. So you're going to be going through some sort of recovery or you are going through a recovery. Um, <laughs> there's like a new prospect here and there's a lot of faith. There's a lot of faith that is happening. Renewed faith. There's been an injustice for you, Libra. Somebody wasn't treating you fairly. They didn't want to be held accountable for their actions. They were lying. They weren't telling the truth. There was a lack of integrity here. There was a, somebody was in, there was very imbalanced. And it's like they were, or maybe it's you, because these readings can go vice versa. We have somebody here that hasn't been making the right decisions. They haven't been wanting to see the truth. They haven't been wanting to accept the truth. And now there's some sort of... Uh, Karma? Somebody is getting some sort of karma? There is a higher power that is involved that is bringing somebody their karma for keeping you down, keeping you, holding you hostage or um, hurting you. Because this person really hurts another person and doesn't care. They're very selfish. I think that you have been dealing with a selfish individual who has been playing with you. They had complete control over you. And it's like this higher power wants you to have it all. This is coming out of a situation that was very lonely, very, um, well, it was an enlightening situation. Somebody gained some enlightenment because they had to, they had to go through something uh, very significant to wake them up. Anyhow, we have a painful separation. This is suffering. Suffering alone. But this is coming out of the painful situation. Somebody made some poor choices. They've been in a state of confusion. Maybe in a state of illusion as well. Now this is be careful. Be careful. Uh, I think that we have somebody here that is, is a card of consequences. Somebody is probably going to be su suffering some karmic consequences for their um, poor decisions to uh, hurt another person. We have a crisis here. Somebody put somebody in a crisis situation. But there's a higher power involved that's saying, you know, you deserve to have it all. 
You need to come out of this situation, this painful situation. This is no contact. Stopping communication, stopping contact, putting something to a complete halt. You may be dealing with somebody who has some sort of jealousy issues. Somebody could be, be being found guilty for their um, ways, whatever they did. This is, I mean, I mean, this is guilty and this is, somebody could be being found guilty for something, for their poor decisions. Somehow you are involved here. Um, this painful separate, there's no, it's done. There's no more communication coming through. It's over. It's over. There's consequences here. Somebody is going to be suffering some consequences for their poor decisions. It's like this person felt like they were above the law. They thought they were above the law. But something is about to change. It is. There's a recovery. There's a recovery period among you. Somebody is, is going to be experiencing um, some legal issues that don't go in their favor. Okay, that's not going to go in their favor because of what they did. They brought another person down. They kept this person down and thought it was funny. But it, but this is the end of sacrifice. It really is. So this this period of sacrifice and being down is over because I see a recovery here. There's definitely been some lies. Now there's a there's a power higher than than us when you get the two of pentacles. This is some sort of alignment. There's there's some sort of geometric powers at work here that are larger than this earthly realm that is causing this change. Okay, so there is a change that is coming. We have a bully, we have somebody that is abusive. Okay, somebody has been abusive, they've been over misusing their power and very obsessive, very stubborn. We have stubborn here too. We are a very stubborn individual that was set on controlling another person. And I think that their need to control is about to blow up in their face. We have a crisis here. But this crisis, it feels like this crisis is being exposed by a higher power. Communication is going to come to a complete halt. And it's going to hurt. It is going to hurt. This is painful. There's been some sort of abuse. We have somebody that was absolutely obsessed with holding on to something that isn't good for them. Or holding on to control. Trying to do too much. This person was trying to prove that they were somebody that they weren't. Interesting. Here's your change. There is definitely going to be a major life change with these fives. It's a card of personal freedom. Somebody is being broken free from some sort of individual that was really belittling that's what I want to say is belittling this person was very critical very critical it's like they couldn't do anything right no matter what they did no matter what they did interesting so anyway be prepared for a higher power to step in to change somebody's circumstances it's like there's all the analysis is over it's already been done. This is abuse. Mental abuse, physical abuse, verbal abuse, whatever it is. It can't, this is abuse. So communication is going to stop. Because somebody has been playing playing the field or, or you know, uh, having too many options. You know, they've been choosing multiple, perhaps. Choosing multiple uh, people or multiple things. And it's like this is a glutton. We do have a glutton here. Somebody is, because this is a glutton. 
but we do have somebody here that wasn't aware but now they are aware they are aware that they're being used or they're they're being abused and they're used and abused to feed their their ego somebody that was being used and abused to feed another person's ego this person has multiple options and doesn't care who they hurt because it's all about their ego and their pride. They're not treating another person fairly. Somebody isn't acting with integrity. So I feel like we have somebody here that is going to realize that there's a better opportunity. And they're going to stop communicating with this person that has been hurting them and using them to feed their ego. So... We got somebody here that wants to have their cake and eat it all, eat it too, and they eat it all. Yeah, this person is is it's kind of like you know I hate to say it, but it's like this person is uh, definitely a glutton, and, and and they don't care who they hurt. So you got to be careful. Whether it's you, you could be the one that's doing this just to another person, or it could be another person that's doing this to you. This can go vice versa. Somebody is getting out of a hostile situation. Because there's just so many options. Like, like this person is playing the field. I feel like they're playing the field. They're playing everybody. Everybody that they can. And they're doing it quite well. But I think there's somebody is going to get some sort of karma. And it's not in a good way. Because there's a higher power that is involved. That is changing these circumstances. So be prepared. Be prepared for a change. If your gut is telling you. Whether this is for you or the cross watcher. If your gut is telling you that there's somebody that has multiple options. And they are playing the field. And they're, and they're lying about it. You're correct. Okay. Because there's lies here. A lot of lies. This person thinks they're above the law. They can do whatever they want. They can get away with anything. They, they, they know how to lie. Somebody knows how to lie very, very, very well. Anyway, we have some so, somebody here that is very much, you know, this person could be a miser. And, you know, they like to have all these options. You know, they, that's the way they are. Anyhow, I feel in the first two weeks of January, there's a higher power involved that is going to uh, reveal something to you, okay, about an injustice. There's an injustice here. There's somebody that is not being treated fairly, and, and it's like this is realizing that there's a better opportunity. It's like there's a re for real love because the only love we have is, is here. OK, it's over here and it's it's like but somebody has been focused on a third party situation. It's like they weren't didn't know their worth or they didn't know their value and they were hanging on because it was somebody to hang on to. Anyway, we have a. It feels like we have a sick individual here who has been using you or using another person to feed their ego. And it's not fair. They have it. It's not fair. It's a lack of integrity. But things are about to change. We definitely have somebody here that is playing more than one person. And they're getting away with it. Maybe this other person just doesn't know their values so much that they just don't care. You know, they don't care because they're so, you know, undervalued themselves. They don't value themselves. Anyway, I see, I see somebody waking up though. You know, it's like they've already done their analysis. They've been alone a long time. Maybe it's like, you know what? I do value myself. I'm not going to be treated like this anymore. So the first two weeks, I see somebody coming out of a hostile situation to explore their options elsewhere. Good luck.